Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schover, and I've got with me my co-host, Doug Peterson. You should just start announcing yourself. Just get right up in the business. I, okay. I don't know. I'd, Next time? I, if I give you a chance to breathe. Yeah, I'm, I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and no, then you I just, can pop in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll try I, it I'll, try and, I'll try and feed you it. We, we can test before we start you're, recording. You're picking up what time. I'm putting down. I am. Okay. So this week, up until Friday, which we were discussing prior to recording, actually it's right on here, um, every week, every week, every day this week until Friday, we're doing champagne cocktails, and we're using... Why? 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 Why are we using champagne cocktail? No, you know why? Why? Because this is why. When you have a bottle of champagne like this, yeah. right? Yeah. The issue you have is if we do one cocktail, say this one, we're going to use this much. Yeah. Right? And then we drink the rest out of the bottle later. No, champagne is nasty. I don't like that's your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. It's so, not yours. <laughs> no. I want to be able to fully utilize the experience. Right. So what I do is everybody sends their champagne cocktails. I collect them all. Some mm -hmm. could probably have been from a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. And then boom, I do them all once. Nice. Same with blended, same with whatever. So that is why we have champagne cocktails until Friday. That I wanted the zombie, so that's the only reason. Okay, cool. Um, this is I'm your enjoy. cocktail. This is my cocktail. Why? Why, Doug? Why? What is it called? It's it, called what? It's, it's called the Sparkling Jolly Rancher. And it utilizes the watermelon flavored Jolly Rancher. Which we promised. Uh, vodka. Yeah, we did promise that. So you're going to need to get yourself a bottle of the cheapest stuff you can get? Eh, it wasn't the cheapest. No, there's lower? Yeah. Barefoot, I thought, was like like the... Not necessarily it's, the low, it's, but it's, it's like getting, the... It's, it's, it's everywhere. Getting, it, 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 it seemed like it was going to be the best of the not the best. It's not like what we have for our wedding? That your mother crazily oh, went and bought the, what's champagne the crazy and bottle screen. It's got the shield the on The Dom Perignon. Yeah. 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 That's... I drank that whole bottle by myself. <laughs> she doesn't drink it. <laughs> well, if I would have known about champagne and peach schnapps back then, oh, we would have imagine golden. anything with peach schnapps, right? Dude, you tell me you take a two hundred dollar bottle of champagne <laughs> and you put peach schnapps in it. Where is that not wrong? It's wrong everywhere. Yeah, on so many levels no, in every country. No, it's not. No, it's you know whatever whatever makes the drink for you. That's right. I'm gonna try to back you up on this one. Thank I wouldn't you. do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, All right, so you want to make this? Yeah, the properties are, here's our champagne glass. Champagne glass. You want me to make it? Or you make you it? You can make it. I, okay. Go so, for it. the champagne cocktail is kind of the spin on this, right? Right. The champagne cocktail use Angostura bitters and sugar. We're going to use um, orange bitters. Orange bitters. And sugar. Right. But we're also using the watermelon. Uh, yes. And then some aroma, whatever this is going to do for us. A little the sweetener. St. Little, little sweetness. Yeah, yep. just adds a little extra awesome on top of the awesome pancake. Right. So, how many dashes do we need? Okay, so four or five? Four or five. Can I just yeah. do them like this? Yeah, go for it. One, two... Those are drops. Three. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Okay, that, that's that good. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lick your fingers. Disintegrating. Oh, that's pretty... Um. <laughs> oh, Bitter. that's good. No, it's yeah, not. I like it. I like it. So what am I doing now? I'm just going to do a half ounce. Use an ounce of it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, a half ounce of the Saint Germain. So half ounce of Saint Germain on top of our sugar cube. Yep. Bam. No shaking. This is made. And you know what? If you're having a birthday, here's the question of the week. Not really. This is the question I get a lot during the week. Is people <laughs> keep saying, I'm turning 21. What's a good cocktail? And I go, I almost have a thousand of them. I don't know. I can't really help you. What am I going to do? So know. here you Anything go. Anything that you like, and if you don't know what you like yet, you know, Watch good the on show. you. You get to, you get to, the world is your oyster. Dude, you did two ounces. You it's, didn't do two? No, it's supposed to be an ounce and a half. You didn't tell me that! I tried to. It's in my recipe, it's two ounces. Sorry. Ounce and a half, huh? Yeah. Okay. I Well, you know what, that's our prototype. We just said, here. Oh, you okay. Just, you, your fault, you need to drink it. Mm. <laughs> So the idea that we we went this way with the uh, with this cocktail with using the watermelon uh, Jolly Rancher vodka has a very floral thing going on, and so I wanted top to it. yeah top it. So I just wanted to build upon that, and and I think that this is a pretty sexy beast. Well done, well executed uh, drink beverage. I drank it. I don't drink. You drank like the whole thing. I know, it was good. <laughs> so, this is a sparkler, check it out. It's going, the, the sugar just just jumps right to the surface. It hit the surface, right there. It's hot. 
time. It's and it will spark like pretty. that until like there's no sugar left. Like until bubbles. it totally d dissolves. Yes, tiny bubbles in my wine. So it doesn't really taste good though. <laughs> I'm, ruining, gotta, I'm ruining. I'm ruining. Jump into the your your opinion. Wow. <laughs> The, so, the you like mimosas, huh? <laughs> yeah, those no. are your favorite? I don't Love like those? champagne. No. The okay. carbonation gets on my Is glasses. Is it a dry thing? I don't know. It's a taste thing. <laughs> <laughs> dry champagne-like watermelon attack. Right on the nose. It smells yeah. awesome. Can it I smells it? much better yeah, than of course. it tastes. It, it does. It, it does smell good. It has a wonderful, wonderful bouquet. It's still champagne. Which shouldn't be drank like that. Like, you're supposed to sip it more than just what I did. Yeah, I actually, I noticed you, you took a, <laughs> I forgot how big that glass was. A really large it's like gulp the, out of it. It's That's like a five-ounce champagne glass. No. It's insane. So you might want to make it with less champagne because, well. Unless you really like champagne. Mm. Dry. It is dry. Dry, watermelon. I do get some of that elderflower, but it's very, yeah. it's very nuanced. Yeah. This is not like a... You know, sometimes the elderflower can just, it doesn't bring too much of the aroma yeah. because the watermelon's like, wow, I'm up in your business. And yeah. then it's more of a taste thing. I would agree. But subtle taste, which is good. It's good. And it adds that third ingredient. It's got a lot going on. It does. Yeah. Now, the we, bitters though, the, the, the bitters, yeah. I, I want to say, I want, I don't, I don't want to taste them more. I know that they're there. That's the thing with bitters. It's like, if you make, all right, I'm going to let you in on a secret. If you, <laughs> if you make, oh, oh. Please. If you make some really nice mashed potatoes, right? <laughs> Stay with know, me. I didn't know that's where you were gonna go. Okay. I know, that's, mashed, that's, that's mashed that's potatoes. Part. Okay. Make, you make mashed potatoes. Okay. You throw like a little Tony's, like the from Louisiana style, like Tony Tony's, like a what the hell is that? It's like a spice. Yeah. The, right? Yeah. Tony's. Right. You throw some Tony's on there. A little spicy. It adds that. It adds a nuance, right? But you're not. It's not hot. If you unless you dump it, right? Mm. You add a little bit. And you get that extra flavor. And even if you, sh you stir it in, you can't see it. It's yeah. there. When you yeah. take it away, if you put them side by side, you're like, this is missing something, but I don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah. If you just eat it normally, you're like, I don't know, it tastes pretty good to me. The pretty good part is very nuanced. Yeah. And it's going to probably get a little extra orange citrus as it, as it goes. Yeah. I like it. I like it, too. I don't like champagne cocktails that much in general. I don't like, I mean champagne in my cocktail right but you got to do it and and so what i do is i separate my fact that i wouldn't necessarily sit down and drink a dry champagne on a normal occasion mm -hmm. but when i judge the taste of a cocktail it's based on the fact that since i don't like this when somebody pours it at a wedding mm -hmm. i like take the sip when they all cheer and then i'm like carry mm -hmm. your own peach schnapps dude yeah that's the thing you gotta you almost want to like spark, <laughs> spike it with some peach schnapps right so this gives you that alternative. You know, that's that's a movement. That movement <laughs> needs, needs to be started. So everybody is walking around with yeah. like a little, a either a nip or a flask. Yeah. Everybody of, on Ustream, you need to get your peach flask. Yes. And you got a pocket flask. We're totally bringing peach schnapps any. to the wedding tomorrow. Yeah. I don't necessarily know if this is a it cocktail that would, it does, that would work in, in a bar. Awesome. Because I think that you'll have issues with the watermelon. Not having it? Vodka, yeah. You could that. use watermelon schnapps, maybe. I think that it would... It's too sweetness. watermelon? Yeah. Sweetness. You leave out the... Yeah, you're, this is a homemade style drink. Yeah, it really for, is. For people at the show that have made this because... And there have been people who said, I'm going to make the ones you said, watermelon sour apple. And they're probably going to be making a big one, right? Yeah. So their next wedding, they this can serve is, this. This is something, if you do make that and you want to surprise some guests... I'm uh, surprised. It, it, it would be, this is a wonderful beverage to serve anybody. Unless they don't like champagne. <laughs> yeah. And it, <laughs> then but, it would be a bad beverage. But there right. are, look, there are occasions where, at weddings, where people drink champagne when they don't want to. It's like, yeah. I also don't want to wear a tie in a suit, but sometimes you have to. Right. Same thing. If you're going to do it, you might as well feel good about it, right? If right. I could get a tie in a suit made of pure silk yeah. with, like, crossless pants or something, I don't know. I'm just, I'm working on it here. If you make something that's really, really comfortable. Because nobody wants to see that. Crotchless. <laughs> I was thinking yeah. underpants. <laughs> oh, crotchless underpants. So you have crotchless silk. Why don't you just go commando? That's what I'm saying. Because, so, like, <laughs> your junk, your junk, you're <laughs> trying to avoid having your junk touch the silk that your underwear, but it's going to touch your... Your silk pants? Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> he really doesn't know what Here's the problem. No. If you are all silk, it would be all droopy. <laughs> Weird. What? Anyway. You like all the silk? How it hangs? Yeah. Let's wrap this up. 
But what I'm saying is you want to be comfortable. If you're going to have a cocktail that you don't necessarily enjoy, you might as well spice it up and make it more comfortable. Yeah. And now you have a use for it on top of peach schnapps and the other ones we've done. Search yep. champagne cocktail or, cha or champagne and everyday drinkers. No, youtube.com slash everyday drinkers to channel. Yeah. If you want to find all of this. There you go. Question of the day. None. You have no questions? I have no questions. All right. Do you like champagne? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Do Not like only do, first you like champagne, since double, double question seems to be good. If you do like champagne, what? That's how much partner. do you spend? Yeah, because uh, we yeah. spend like ten dollars. It was I, on sale for ten ninety nine. It was almost eleven. So eleven, <laughs> so almost eleven. This could have been. <laughs> this could this could have been very expensive at at ringing in almost twelve bucks. Right. Um, and that's the way I roll with champagne. But I don't know if other people do that. Like champagne to me, since it's not the thing I really care about. And I've had two hundred dollars champagne, drank a whole bottle. Right. Still. Yeah. I wouldn't do bucks. it again. It, you know, eighty dollars is probably about reasonable. I will say, though, that there is definitely a, a taste difference in champagne once you yeah. start getting into the bottles that are, you know, anywhere to $30, $40 range. But it's you know, not they, taste enough for me to be enjoying. It, it starts to taste really good. It starts to taste good, but then you look at the value of how much you've spent, and you're like, I could have had something really good that doesn't necessarily fall in the champagne category for a lot less. Yeah. yeah like a like good red wine. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, blue, no, black, any of those, better than champagne. But right. anyway. I think that's it, right? We did that's our it. question of the day. Yep. Champagne. Yep. Still got a lot of bubbles. We got yep. a good half hour left on that. Good, because yep. we got to take a picture. Let's go. Awesome. Everydaydrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink.